We'll hear argument this morning in Case 12-307, United States versus Windsor, and we'll begin with a jurisdictional discussion. Ms. Jackson. In federal court's jurisprudence, are you saying there's a lack of adversity here? I am saying primarily — Can you give us a pigeonhole? I, I, it's a little difficult because the circumstance is unusual, uh, Justice Kennedy, but I think the — most apt of the doctrines, although they are overlapping and reinforce each other. Thank you, that Counselor. That, that was more than a sentence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Thank you. You're asking us to do something we have never done before. The issue of same-sex marriage certainly implicates profound and deeply held views on both sides Mr. of the The issue. problem is that it would totally thwart the state's decision that there is a marriage between Two people. What kind of marriage is So let's is say this? three soldiers are injured, and they're all in same-sex relationships. There are two kinds of marriages, the full marriage and then the sort of skim milk marriage. <laughs> Your position seems to be, yes, one gets in. Uh, I, I, I think you can see what the problem is here. And I think it's time for the Court to recognize that this discrimination excluding lawfully married gay and lesbian couples from federal benefits cannot be reconciled with our fundamental commitment to equal treatment under law. But that, I don't know if that would work because they wouldn't be Never mind whether it would work. I don't care if it works. It, it, does it? <laughs> Thank you, counsel. Counsel, the case is submitted.